Hey everyone, I may be out of the Bay Area where the earthquake occurred in Oakland, but thanks to the magic of social media and in particular Twitter, I can review where people are in terms of recovering from the quake, which is kind of a weird statement because it wasn't really a big quake to recover from physically, more emotionally. However, to find out what's really happening, the best place to check is the Twitter version of social media. Now, let me show you what I found without any further ado. And we'll start right here with just simply what I found if I typed EA. EA gives me earthquake. What that means is that among the all, all of the possible words that start with EA, the one that is most searched right now is earthquake, followed by earthquake hella, then hashtag earthquake and earthquake San Francisco. So let's see what we get first when we go down to earthquake, right? And we'll go over, and this is what we get. Earthquake alert, which I think is a good idea to click on there. And then earthquake robot, which tweets about earthquakes. And we scroll down, we find that the top tweet as of 12 hours ago was by Carolyn News TV4 San Francisco breaking 4.7 magnitude earthquake centered in Berkeley rattles Bay Area. For those of you who don't know where Berkeley is, you're looking at the map. That star is where the earthquake was centered. Berkeley is just next to it. And it was the Hayward Fault. That's just from my living in Oakland and knowing the fault lines as I do. And so this reports that it struck Thursday morning at 2.39 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with centered in Berkeley. Twitter Moments says that it's a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. The USGS actually reported, reported at 4.4 on the Richter scale. And this is the mayor, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff, reporting that this morning Seismic activity reminds us we live in earthquake country and how important it is to have a plan, build a kit, and get involved. Learn what to do and how to communicate with loved ones when the earth begins to shake. Drop, cover, and hold on. This is, it says indoors, stay indoors, away from windows and heavy items that can fall on you. Drop, cover, hold on, or if using a walker or wheelchair, lock your wheels Cover your head and neck, hold on until the shaking stops and you're sure it's safe to exit. In bed, hold on and stay there, protecting your head with a pillow. Outdoors, find a clear spot away from buildings, trees, and power lines. Drop to the ground. In a car, slow down, pull over, and stop, not under an overpass if possible. Stay in the car until the shaking stops. Sign up for core training today. Now. I want to add something real quick here. Just <clears throat> if you're in a situation like that and during an earthquake, for God's sakes, don't go out into the middle of the street and drop down to the ground because a car that may be oncoming, and it will be, won't see you and you will get hit. Just say, okay. Now, back to the tweets. Um, so we have this, we have ABC News 7, earthquake, asking if you felt it. Uh, Good Morning America, that's national news, talks about it. Union City, government, the scariest thing about living in earthquake country is logging on Twitter and seeing that this is a surprise to people. If you're like many who aren't prepared, take this reminder to get prepared now for the big one. Senator Harris says, when the earthquake left no... While the earthquake left no reported major damage, this is a good moment to make sure you're prepared in case another one strikes. LA Times has races to fix vulnerable buildings. Well, okay. Um, and uh, we've got top tweets. And so there you go. All right. So that's under earthquake. Now, let's see what we get. If we go up here, and then we take a look at Earthquake Hella, right? 
I hella thought this was, I was getting attacked by a ghost. Thank God it was just an earthquake. That was by Cruzy. I have business. Y'all are hella funny. I even feel the earthquake. Interesting. It's the first time I've seen someone report they haven't felt the earthquake. Um, then another person says they're hella mad. They didn't even feel the earthquake. They didn't feel it. Now, this one woke this person up. And this is, person says, earthquake hella woke them up. So, uh, there's the reports. So, basically, that's what it is. A lot of people were, uh, if you... We'll look at it another way. Hella scared by the earthquake. All right. Ah. Okay. That's under earthquake hella. Now, if we go to here, and uh, that's earthquake hella. Let me go back to our EA because there's photos of earthquake hella, which I'll get back to in a second. Let's go to plain EA, right? Earthquake, hella, earthquake. Let's go to hashtag earthquake. Same alerts, and pretty much the same. Got the alerts mainly because the people that had earthquake in their tweets used also hashtag earthquake. Christopher Booker. Fitting that the Berkeley hashtag earthquake is a 4.7 because that's the minimum GPA to get into Berkeley. Go Bears. Uh, Marcus Emanuel. Ismail says, I love how everyone's first reaction in a hashtag earthquake in San Francisco is to tweet and not, you know, not tweet and try to survive. <laughs> but does that mean, does that include you, Marcus? Just saying. <laughs> you kind of put yourself in there. Um, so this drew uh, Tuma of ABC7 reported which USGS reported that it was three kilometers east southeast of Berkeley and the time which is a 1039 37 um, universal time there and um, there it is and then it says 4.7 magnitude interestingly it had 4.4 later this is adjusted so um, and this is uh, me trying to get back to sleep after that earthquake. I think that summed up a lot of reactions on Twitter. All right. So let's take a look at the photos over here, if any. They're all photos of the maps of where it occurred, okay? Uh, including this one. That's a uh, live Doppler, but that's not... Uh, Ty, that says, uh, that's another one. That's not the one that we're talking about. Uh, this is our place in the world, in the Bay Area, okay? And so these photos deal with other earthquakes that occurred before the one that I'm talking about. All right, so um, that gives you kind of a picture of what the news was on Twitter regarding the earthquake that hit just next to Berkeley early this morning and hella scared everyone in the San Francisco Bay Area and Oakland. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube, bookmark Zenny62.com, follow Zenny62 on Twitter, and bookmark my new Oakland blog, oaklandnewsonline.com.